the other artists should definitely not underestimate me. Underground. I'll do what it takes, man. What you want to get done? Uh, I got a swastika and iron cross. I want to get done. Wrong part of my life. Now I know where I'm at, and I want to go. Any ideas what you want to do? Maybe or? like a zombie nurse cemetery scene. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got to get it out of there. I got kids, and my kids hate it. Mm. Please do not give me a swastika. That says white power. At one point in this guy's life, he hated me. Canvases, one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Anthony. I don't know if James is testing me with the hate or the tattoo. Damn. I can't let it get to me. I need to keep my composure so I stay focused. What's going on? What's the story behind that? I was just brainwashed when I was younger. Yeah, and when I got older and had kids, I realized, man, what the hell? I'm trying to do a 360. Well, I'd love to help, man. That's oh, yeah, I appreciate for. that. Right, right on. I've been trying to get rid of about 20 years, man. When I first got tattooed, I was like 13, 14 years old. I'm like an idiot joining the Aryan Brotherhood. That ain't cool. That's not where I want to be. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're red, black, brown, yellow, green, whatever. Unfortunately, I've been a victim of hate. When I was wanting to get an apprenticeship to learn how to tattoo, I was told that the color of my skin was going to hinder my chances. To be a minority, it's actually driving me even more to do a killer job. So how'd you get rid of the swasty? I put a little chinger in the gravestone. We're burying the past, so it's perfect. Can't wait for all the stress to go off my shoulders. To be able to help this guy change his life is a complete honor. There ain't nobody going to beat this one. Let him know how it's done. Anthony. This is one of the most solid cover-ups of the day. Definitely nothing of that tattoo is coming through. Shows really good ingenuity having to draw that tombstone just right. And you could use those details in the cracks to mask what areas you need to really get hidden. You have so many nice details in the hair. You have really fine, fine lines. You create this kind of ratty feeling, but it still shows perfect line work in there. This thing really, really shows strong today. You did a great job. All right, judges, time to choose who had the best tattoo of the day. 100% bulletproof cover-up. Anthony's tattoo gets it. I love the high definition of Anthony's tattoo, but it does look like a weird composite that's not realized. Not for me. For me, everything about the tattoo, especially the cover-up area itself, is executed so well and so precise. I love James's tattoo, but he had some hiccups in the line work, and I really couldn't pick too much apart about Anthony. I need a final decision. Anthony. My vote's for James. I'm gonna vote for Anthony. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Anthony. What's your guy's special power? A uh, combat medic with angel wings to be able to fly in and rescue other soldiers. I've never taken my client and actually put them into the tattoo, but I'm an artist, so I don't have anything to worry about. The other artists should definitely not underestimate me. Underground. I'll do what it takes, man. Anthony, what comic book character did your canvas want to be? He really wanted to portray a military medic. I like this tattoo a lot. The drawing is awesome. There's a couple areas where I really get that comic book feel from, and a lot of that is that hatching in some of the shading. And then in terms of just details, like particularly in the scarf, going over each one of those folds in that fabric is so intensely amazing. So far, I like everything I've seen you do. You've been consistent. That's what it takes to just run this thing to the end. I think you did a hell of a job. All right, guys, based on creativity, who had the best tattoo of the day? By far, the tattoo that stands out the most to me is Anthony's. I have to agree, man. Anthony really turned in a nice, solid, beautiful tattoo. I do have to say in the same breath that I do like what St. Mark did. I do like what Alex did. And I think that overall, it was a pretty good day, artistically speaking. Speaking of creativity, Sausage really put together an all-encompassing story of his canvas's character. Matching up, looking like his canvas, Sausage probably did one of the best jobs of the day. I gotta vote for Sausage. Best tattoo of the day for me goes to Anthony. I'm gonna go with Anthony. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Anthony. We assigned you Japanese. Talk about it. 
Even though I had an open canvas, I really wanted to give him something that he likes as well. He has to wear it for the rest of his life. So during the competition, Dave, you did mention you wish to see more of the dragon, the full body. So I gave you that and then some with hopes to redeem myself. Tell us about this, man. What do you got, bud? So going up against these guys, yeah. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't slack. You know, I really had to be strategic, competitive. I wanted to represent where I was raised and being brought up by a single mom. The wolf actually represents my character kind of throughout the season, observing everything and planning my attacks. Wow. Holly, that's for Anthony. Anthony. Beautiful, beautiful tattoo. I love the details. I love the color work. The composition you have really fits the arm nicely. Even though you didn't do an entire inside of the arm, what you did is very clean. The details in the top and the color work in the fades are just top notch, man. Anthony, I love the tattooing and I love the story that it tells. That woman's face is beautiful and the markings, the space that you have behind her head and the markings on her face really work and they're really beautiful. The hot and cold juxtaposition of the colors are great. It's actually my favorite sleeve. Wow. Wow. Guys, one of you is about to win it all. I think we got some great tattoos here, man. I really think that it's a, it's a tough call. I think Anthony's sleeve is laid out beautifully. I know Clean did a lot more coverage on his sleeve, but of the two sleeves, Anthony's the one that I'm leaning for. You know, looking at the dragon, it's beautiful, it's big, it's powerful, it's sculpted lines, it's got the energy, it's nice color play, but is it done? Well, that's my thing, man. I gotta say, I, I love both you guys as tattooers. I love everything that's been turned in. I say that, you know, Anthony, you didn't finish the dragon. It's just, and I gotta say, Clean, you covered the whole arm. You sleeved out the whole arm. I don't know, man. I got to get a final decision. Chris, final decision. Man, this is a tough one. Based on, based on the two tattoos and what it looks like, I'm leaning towards Anthony. Wow. I got to say, both tattoos are killer. All four of them are killer. Anthony, you didn't finish the chest, and you didn't sleeve out the sleeve. And those are technicalities, and we critiqued clean on those very technicalities because he didn't do photorealism for his final piece. I got to go with Clean Rock One. I got to do it, man. Oliver, final decision. Well, all three of these finalists did amazing tattoos. Clean, you're a veteran. You know what you can do. What Anthony did in his sleeve, I think, is not, something that not a lot of people could do. I got to go for Anthony. The judges have decided, Anthony, you do See what the hell I'm doing. Everything's swelling up. I can't see what I'm doing. I just have to go off of instinct and follow my gut and my intuition. Oh, that's my neck. <laughs> if I drop the ball, my team does not get the advantage, and I've pretty much proven to these other coaches that I can't compete with them going into the master faceoff. The smoothness and the quality of the black and gray, that reminds us why you're sitting as a coach. Beautiful side, beautiful entryway to the piece in the center, beautiful exit, and the precision of that beat dropping down to a perfectly sharp point dead center. Everything's dark and breathable. Judges, it is time to determine the winner of this flash challenge. As far as adaptability goes today, I really like what DJ did and the way that he went along the jawline, brought this design so it's readable from a mile away. My vote is for DJ. Anthony, to me, went above and beyond. Doing big black and gray, we always see people do it too dark where they lose the contrast or they lose the shape. Anthony's figure is very dynamic. I vote for Anthony. We have one vote for Anthony, one vote for DJ. Chris. Today, Anthony. The 
judges have decided the winner of today's Flash Challenge is Anthony. Thank you, guys. This feels amazing. I don't have as much experience as these other coaches. I pretty much smashed them. That's what I needed. All right, let's check in with Anthony. Oliver, what is the word? Oh, man, Anthony is killing it over here. True Anthony Michael style, beautiful finesse. This thing is soft and beautiful. All right, Anthony, got That's a big so question funny. for you. Out of all these three coaches this season, you had the least amount of experience tattooing in general. How did it feel being in charge of a team and coaching people? <laughs> Man, listen, I was shook, you know? I had to face all my insecurities on the spot. I won season seven, with, you know, off my gut instinct. I did the same thing this season. That's why I won sitting over there representing the Wolfpack. Well, killer job, man, killer job. This thing is beautiful. I can read it from here. I know what's going on, and I really love the background of that moon. You got that negative space right there, so you can really read the head of the snake. When I follow the snake's body, it's a little complicated, but it does anatomically shape up. So I think you did a killer job, dude. Thank you. You pulled it off really slick. You didn't over detail it too much to where it gets muddy and hard to read. The color palette works really well because it plays against each other hot and cold. You can really see what's different between the snake versus the dagger versus the foliage. I think it came out really slick. Your tattoo is clean. It's solid. I think it shows a little bit of jitters, but I think everybody tonight does. You know, this is a tough arena and a tough place to sit and really pull these off. But that tattoo, is really legible. Thank you, man. I was the most inexperienced artist to win the title of Ink Master. Now I have to prove that wasn't a fluke. What I'm envisioning is a Polynesian approach, but also I'm big on portraiture. So on one side, I'd like to apply a portrait of a Maori woman, on the other side, a man. This is blowing my mind. I'm taking a huge risk with this design. It's unique, it's powerful, it's completely unexpected. And that right there is what's gonna get me the win. Anthony, what was the thought process behind this tattoo? Balance, intention, and unity. You know, I'm not a Polynesian tattooer by any means, but I wanted to pay respects to the culture and to the craft, how tattooing started. With the king's blessing of Polynesia, this is our journey. The design, the layout, the detail is over the top. The style of tattooing that you do on here is very dark, and it doesn't have a lot of loose skin breaks that we always look for. And with that being said, it plays so strong and so perfect still. <laughs> Looking at the tools and the symmetry, the way the tattooing tools are lined up with those circles that you have over the top are beautiful. The negative space that goes perfectly echoes one side of the ear to the other and brings it up to cast the, the shapes for the portraits to sit in are beautiful. And the portrait quality on these on the side of a head are top notch. I mean, that's winning right there. You know what I mean? 